Mr. Bray, and I haven't called you that for many years. Ian, you've got your hand up at the back of the room. Did you want to add something? Come up the front, mate, and do it on the mic, and then I'm going to sit you down again because I'm enjoying being the boss for the 10 minutes that I can because you'll get me back when we leave here. But I am mindful that I, um, um, we need to get to our next witnesses. Jim, that's been fantastic. Great. Thank you. Thank you, Senator. Thank you. Yeah, very thanks. Much. I just wanted to touch on a point uh, how many foreign vessels have traded on the coast uh, over the last 12 months. There was five th over 5,000 temporary licences issued to trade on the uh, the Australian coast. Now, that doesn't mean 5,000 ships, but it's 5,000 um, voyages. 5,000 voyages, yes. yes. But understand how much freight that was previously carried by Australian crewed ships, Australian-owned ships, or whatever. Yes. Yep. Say that again. So 5,000 permits equates to... 5,000 voyages. Yes. So what's, what's actually happening is, Senator, the, um, the Coastal Trading Act 2012 was designed to enhance and revitalise Australian shipping. And there, there, reali there was a realisation that would, there would be a gap from time to time uh, where Australian flag vessels and Australian crews might not be available to carry the cargo. So the temporary licensing arrangement was there to fill that void and the gap What's actually happened is the 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 gap and the and the and uh, the, it's now the, the, the the temporary licences themselves um, they were the, they they became the exploitation like temporary um, traders. yeah and it, and it undermined uh, the confidence in Australian shipping so ship owners wouldn't why would they invest knowing that we're going down that path is that fair to say Ian? Yeah. But also, too, without any tax incentives or anything like that, um, you know, uh, and I think uh, the Norwegian experience in uh, investment in their shipping um, and backing their, uh, backing their industry uh, is an example for consideration. We had it, but I, th I think it was removed. The last time we had any incentives taxation-wise in the Australian shipping industry, uh, which supported not only the ships but also the shipyards that built them and the skills in them uh, was under uh, the Hawke and Labor, uh, Hawke and Keating governments. Thanks, thank you, Ian, and I uh, thank you for that.